Thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video. All right, we're heading into 2025 and if you're still wondering whether an AWS certification will get you a cloud job, the short answer is no. This is a question I get asked every single year and it's always one I find myself having to answer. If you're learning cloud this year, what you have to understand is that AWS certifications do not provide a direct pathway into the cloud. In fact, they won't even equip you with half the skills you need. In order to really stand out, you'll need more than just certifications. And so in this video, I'm going to break down the exact five steps you'll need to follow after getting AWS certified to significantly increase your chances of getting hired. By following the roadmap I'm about to share, you'll learn how to turn your next AWS certification into a successful cloud career. Okay, let's get right into it. First of all, let me just say that AWS certifications are still valuable and they do have their benefits. When I was an intern at AWS, I studied and achieved four AWS certifications before starting my role as a solutions architect. This was really helpful in building my foundational understanding of the cloud and provided a structured plan for me to learn important concepts and services. Each certification has a specific focus and within each one, there are domains and task statements that outline the knowledge needed to pass the exam. For example, if we take a look at the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Exam Guide, you can see that there are four domains focused on designing secure, resilient, scalable, and cost-optimized architectures. And within the domains, there's task statements like design secure access to AWS resources. Now, this is really great because it gives you a clear learning path to follow. So when you take a Solutions Architect Associate course on Udemy or AWS Skill Builder, you'll be guided step by step through everything from AWS services to architecting complex cloud solutions. Another benefit of getting AWS certified is credibility. While some certifications are more challenging than others, putting any AWS cert on your resume can signal to recruiters or hiring managers that you're serious about your cloud journey. It shows that you've invested time time into building your skills, and if you're just starting out in your career, certifications can demonstrate specific interest in cloud computing. With that being said though, I definitely would not recommend relying solely on certifications to land you a job. Now let me explain. Meet Bob. Bob worked hard to pass the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Certification. He put it on his resume, applied for a few jobs, and expected interviews to roll in. But after sending out dozens of applications, he didn't get any responses back. Why? Because Bob hadn't built any real-world projects to back up his cert. He had no way to prove that he could apply what he had learnt in practical scenarios. Now, let's take a look at Sally. Sally also passed the same certification, but instead of just stopping there, she created a portfolio of projects. One of the projects was a serverless web app using AWS Lambda, API Gateway, and DynamoDB. She posted her projects on GitHub and shared them on LinkedIn as well. As a result, she was invited for multiple interviews and ultimately landed a job as a cloud engineer. The main takeaway is that AWS certification certifications alone are not enough to land a job. Employers want to see how you can apply that knowledge, especially as AI continues to advance. Speaking of AI, while it has potential to automate some jobs in the future, it also creates new opportunities for those who can leverage it effectively. In fact, HubSpot has created a useful resource that can help you do exactly that. They have a free guide called How to Land a Job Using AI, and it's packed with useful tips on how you can make the most out of AI tools to improve your job search and career growth. Whether it's making your resume stand out, refining your LinkedIn profile, or even preparing for interviews with AI, this guide will give you a competitive edge so that you can land the exact role you're looking for. My favorite section personally is the 20 AI tools for job seekers. These are tools I wish I had when I was first starting out in tech, especially the job matching ones that use AI to match job seekers with the best openings. If you're looking to boost your career prospects using AI, I'd highly recommend checking out HubSpot's guide. Their free resources will make a real difference in how you approach a job search in the age of AI. Okay, now now here's the roadmap I'd recommend to help you turn your AWS certification into a cloud job. The first step after getting an AWS certification is to gain hands-on experience. And one great way to do this is to start building projects. You could build a traditional three-tier web application where you have a front-end, back-end, and database layer. You could also experiment with other architectures like creating a serverless web app. The goal here is to create projects that showcase your ability to design and implement solutions using AWS services. Once you've completed the few, you can put them on your resume and write a LinkedIn or Medium post sharing screenshots and documentation about what each project does, the architecture behind it, as well as the steps you took. Once that's done, I'd recommend dedicating some time into learning IT fundamentals. This is because even though AWS certifications teach you cloud concepts, they do assume that you already have an understanding of IT. But for example, if you're working with services like Amazon EC2, it can get confusing if you're not too familiar with how networking works. Concepts like security groups, IP 
IP address ranges and setting up key pairs may be hard to understand without complete networking knowledge. Now, you don't really have to be an expert in every field of IT, but what I recommend is developing a foundation in networking, compute, databases, storage, and security. Knowledge that you gain from these five domains will come in handy in cloud interviews. For instance, if you're going for a solutions architect role, you may be asked to explain how you would secure a web application, how to design a scalable architecture, or manage network configurations. Without the IT fundamentals, it will be very hard for you to answer these questions. Okay, the next step after this is to develop your soft skills. Up until now, we've only talked about technical skills and knowledge, but for most cloud roles out there, you'll need to have strong communication and collaboration skills. To improve your soft skills, especially in communication, you can practice explaining technical concepts to non-technical people. This can be as simple as describing a cloud architecture to one of your friends who isn't in tech. I'd also recommend participating in workshops and hackathons where you'll need to spend time working with others and presenting your work. Now, beyond building technical and soft skills, networking also plays a huge role in opening up new opportunities. When I was applying for an internship at AWS, the role was publicly available, but by reaching out to the hiring manager on LinkedIn directly, I was able to stand out and then land the role. Obviously, not every situation is like that, but what I've realized is that even a small amount of effort you put into networking can help you get noticed among other applicants. And so as a cloud learner, I'd encourage all of you to get involved in as many tech communities and events as you can. I recently started the AWS Women in Tech user group Australia, but you can also join other user groups all around the world, attend meetups, or even just participate in online forums where you can meet others in the field. LinkedIn, as I mentioned, is also a powerful tool when used correctly. So make sure you document your cloud journey by making posts about your learnings, projects, as well as achievements. And finally, if not most importantly, you'll need to prepare for the last stage of landing a job, which is the actual interview. Employers aren't just looking for someone who knows cloud concepts. They want to see how you think, troubleshoot, and solve real world challenges. This means being ready to answer cloud related questions, walk through architectural scenarios, and solve problems on the spot. Common technical topics include designing scalable architectures, optimizing resources, and implementing security best practices. You'll also get behavioral questions like how to handle customers, how to communicate with team members, and how you manage your time. In my opinion, the best way to get better at interviewing is by doing mock interviews with others. If you have a friend or mentor who is willing to help, set up practice sessions with them where they can throw you different scenarios and questions. This will help you get comfortable with the interview format and become familiar with answering common questions. And if you want a complete guide to acing cloud interviews, I'd recommend getting a copy of my AWS Interview Mastery course. It covers everything from common interview questions to how to perfect your resume. Plus, there are mock interview examples and sample responses to help you feel confident and prepared in any interview situation. I'll leave a link to the course in the description below and you can use the code YouTube10 for 10% off. All right, so that was the five step roadmap I'd recommend after getting AWS certified to get you hired in the cloud. I truly believe that AWS certifications are useful to a certain extent, but in the end, they're just the starting point. But please let me know your own thoughts in the comments below and give this video a like if you found it helpful. Okay, bye for now.